In this video, we will be discussing bitmap layers. Harmony allows us to use both vector and bitmap layers, and it allows us to combine the two to create a unique look for our animation. There are pros and cons to using each, and we will discuss them in this video. To create a bitmap layer, we simply go down to the plus sign down here in our timeline and choose drawing. And then in the add drawing layer dialog box, we can choose bitmap for any of our art layers. For the line art, I'm going to choose bitmap, and I'm going to hit add and close. And using my, with my brush tool selected, you'll notice that Harmony loads up its pre-installed bitmap brushes. If I click the properties, these are very similar to what you would already find in our vector brush counterparts. With our paper texture, it offers dual tips, the transparency, and all of the other options that are associated with the tip of the bitmap brush. The main difference between the two comes down to our brush strokes. Each brush stroke from a vector brush can be an individual object that is or can be manipulated. So if I go down to my vector layer and if I make my brush a little bigger so you guys can see it and I make some strokes using my selection tool each of these strokes is an individual object that I can manipulate but if I go back up to my bitmap layer and I'll draw over in this corner so you guys can see. Drawing on bitmap layers is a little more akin to drawing in your favorite raster-based image editing program, whereas it, the bitmap layer is seen as a canvas. So I cannot select just that one piece that selects the whole. If I wanted to just select, say, the first stroke here, I would have to use my cutter tool, like so and then I can manipulate it to transform it as such. So manipulating bitmaps means that Harmony needs to resample the image and this can lose to image quality loss if I scale it up too much. So if I again grab this piece and I begin to scale it up really huge, make it massive and let go and allow it to resample. If I zoom in there, you can see that the, the pixels are starting to show on the edge of our brush. Another thing to be mindful is bitmap layers are indeed working on a canvas, which means they have an edge. Might be kind of hard to see. Let me hide my color card. Ah, you can see it better when I hide my color card. The blue dotted line right there is the edge of our canvas, so to speak, on bitmap layers. So I can only go so far and then I run out of canvas. We do not have that limitation if I switch over to my vector brush. We can continue to move on. So one of the benefits of working at bitmap layers is that it kind of frees us from the constraints of our color palettes. And you may have noticed that our color palettes have changed. I can switch over to my, pay attention to my palettes over here. If I switch over to a vector layer, we have our scene palettes, as well as each of the pots with their associated colors. Switching back up to my bitmap layer, we are freed from the constraints so we can mix and match our colors. Let me put my card back up again. So we can pick colors as much as we want and change the hue, the saturation as much as we wish. And we can paint it like so. Bitmap layers are a little bit more like painting, a bit more of a painterly feeling. So that said, we can certainly, there are certain benefits to working in bitmaps. I personally like working with rough animation in bitmaps. So let's pick something that's a little lighter. Let's just do a little sketching. Again, using O as a shortcut to change our brush size. Bitmap brushes also give us the, uh, the ability to play with the flow on our brush, which controls the, the output of our brush, as well as the opacity, so that we can change our opacity on the fly. So if we want to work a little lighter, we can kind of build up our strokes. And then as we move along, maybe along to a tie-down phase, we can pull our opacity up to 100% and get a bit more of a darker line that way. So we can just do a little bit of sketching. Let's get something a little more blue more lighter and again I'll pull the opacity down at first and we'll just do some sketching here
we can do is my eraser. Let's make my eraser a little smaller. Pull out. See this softness right there that we can get with bitmap brushes that we just can't get with vector as easily. Now using the same brush, the same tool, my I have a custom pencil that I like to use. Uh, I'm gonna pull the opacity down. Let's make our brush a little bigger. Do some test strokes. Whoops, 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 whoops. Pushed the wrong button by accident there. Let's try that again. Let's go a little bigger. And a little lighter and we'll just put some tone on her. All right, and let's just fix that brow. There we go. All right, and that's working and sketching with uh, with some bitmap brushes. Thank you very much for joining me, and you guys have a good one. See you in the next video.